make welcome. I am Emmanuel. I beg you, do not curse my father because of this poem. Neither should this seek the head of my mother. Please do not let your voice break into shards of painful prickles, prickling tears down your faces. Please don't. Because it wasn't the fault after all. You see, with the country where I come from, as a male child, you are a god. A god that shouldn't fidget. A god that shouldn't allow his tears radiate on his facial apartment. A god that shouldn't shed tears. But they forget that sometimes as gods, we become chicks subjected to the lordship of hawks. They forget that sometimes the journey we make into our head only bet voices that tells us to make friends with the rope hanging from the ceiling. They forget that we are human too. The first time I told my father I was depressed. He looked deep into my face, positioned his cocked bullet of words towards my head and scrrr, he released them into my ears to father. My depression is a big sack of shame I've decided to draw along my path of growth to father. My depression is a max shielding my bravery, making mockery of the man I am becoming. What do you want the girls to say about you always said? But father, they didn't know that I am not only a boy, but I am human too. That I bear scars as well and I can break down like my sister does every fortnight at the stool of mother. Father, they didn't know that sometimes depression becomes an interim precedent in the life of a male child too. The first time I told my mother I was depressed. She punched some digits trying to communicate to God via her phone. But poor me, God doesn't use a phone so we couldn't keep in touch. You needed spiritual cleansing, you said. You needed to be free from the spirit that kept you in between the in-betweens of their coven. But would you please tell mother that this spirit never existed but a strange voice is constantly echoing in my head. One walked up to me yesterday night telling me these rat poisons are food for humans like me to feed on. But I believed him actually. I believed him because those hams I felt could accommodate me suddenly became too short. Those legs I felt I could wet with burdens flowing out from my eyes as tears suddenly became too busy with those of my sisters. I believed him actually. And today, like every other day, I try giving myself quick notice from this body. Maybe boys like you doesn't need to exist. Maybe boys like you only need to exist as inks floating on black and white sheets. Maybe boys like you only need to exist as poems fading off as beautiful sorrows in an empty room. But please, whichever way this goes, do not curse my father because of this poem. Neither should you take the head of my mother. Please do not let your voice break into shards of painful prickles, prickling tears down your faces. Please don't. Because it wasn't the fault after all. But the society, yes, the society pushed them into quadrangles they didn't wish to exist in. Please do not curse my father because of this poem. But the society who pushed them into quadrangles they didn't wish to dwell in.